two San Francisco area earthquake faults found to be connected. The most dangerous earthquake fault in the San Francisco Bay Area is connected to another, which means both could rupture simultaneously and unleash major devastation, a new study finds. The Hayward Fault has long been considered a threat because it runs under densely populated neighborhoods east of San Francisco. The new work found that beneath San Pablo Bay, it joins with a second, less active underground fracture to the north. Scientists had already considered the possibility of both faults rupturing at once, whether they are connected or not. So the discovery doesn't change the estimated earthquake hazard much, although it confirms suspicions that the stage is set for what could be a massive quake. If the Hayward and Rogers Creek faults broke simultaneously along their combined 118 miles, they could produce a magnitude 7.4 quake said scientists from the U.S. Geological Survey. Such shaking would be more than five times stronger than the 1989 Loma Prieta quake on the San Andreas Fault that killed over 60 people and collapsed part of the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge. There hasn't been a major quake on the Hayward Fault in more than 140 years. Quakes are caused by a sudden movement in the Earth's crust releasing stored energy that people feel as shaking. This should be a reminder that folks in the Bay Area need to be prepared for a major earthquake, USGS geophysicist Janet Watt said in an email. Watt and her team probed the geology beneath San Pablo Bay, a tidal estuary that extends north from the San Francisco Bay, using a special acoustic instrument that bounced sound waves through the water and into the rocks below. The Hayward Fault extends for 62 miles from San Jose to San Pablo Bay, passing through Barclay and Oakland. The last time it broke was in 1868 when a magnitude 6.8 struck, killing 30 people. The Rogers Creek Fracture runs 56 miles north of the bay through the heart of wine country. The underwater surveys revealed a previously unknown strand of the Hayward Fault that connects to the western section of the Rogers Creek Fault. One reason why it has taken so long to determine the relationship between the two faults is because the bay is very shallow, which makes it hard to use a boat. Researchers floated instruments on pontoons. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmeme.webs.com.